Hi, Zach. This is your cousin, Sydney, and this week we are going to read a book called Little Monkey Lost by Keith Duquette. <clears throat> In the deepest jungle, there lived a troop of monkeys. Every day was just the same. They lounged in the trees, munched on leaves, and took long naps. Little Monkey was so bored. One morning, while the rest of his troop was sleeping, he saw a lily pad float by. I'll take a ride, he said to myself. Now that will be fun. Just then, his mother woke up. Little monkey, come back! She shouted, but in no time, little monkey was far, far from home. This part of the jungle was a little scary. Little monkey wanted to go home. Then he remembered what his mother once told him. If you ever get lost, find other monkeys. They will lead you home. But these creatures didn't look like monkeys. <clears throat> Little monkey climbed farther up the tree. There he met some animals that were making a racket. They looked like they might be monkeys. Excuse me, little monkey asked. Are you monkeys? That's right, they hollered. <clears throat> Come howl with us. Howl, he shouted. It felt so good to let it out. After a while, Little Monkey asked them how to get home, but they wouldn't stop howling. Suddenly, he saw a fast-moving group. They definitely looked like monkeys. Hey, wait, Little Monkey shouted. Are you guys monkeys? You bet we are, they answered. Come swing with us. Little Monkey had never moved like this before. He felt so free. But after a while, his arms began to ache. He stopped to rest on a branch. There he came upon two furry creatures with long tails like his. Are you two monkeys? Little monkey asked. We certainly are, they said. Come hug with us. Well, okay, I guess. Little monkey didn't want to be rude. He loved the warm feeling of the hug. But this hug went on forever. Finally, little monkey wriggled away. That afternoon, little monkey met many other kinds of monkeys. They all showed him something different, but nobody knew the way home. Little monkey had never been, never had such a busy day, and he had never been so sleepy. It was the middle of the night when Little Monkey woke up. He was surrounded by eight enormous eyes. Are you monkeys? Little Monkey bravely asked. Yes, we are, they said. Come eat with us. Little Monkey had not eaten a single leaf all day. Try this, the smallest monkey said. The heavy fruit was sweet and juicy. It was the best thing Little Monkey had ever eaten. Little Monkey played all night with the big-eyed monkeys. The next morning, they disappeared into the trees. Little Monkey was all alone. He took a deep breath and howled, Mama, where are you? Way off in the distance, he heard a voice call back. Little Monkey swung from branch to branch to follow the far-off voice, and though his tiny arms ached, he kept swinging. Until just around a tree, he finally saw his troop. They were all wide awake and so happy to see him. Little Monkey, Little Monkey, you're home, his mother said. We were so worried about you. I'm sorry, I just wanted to have some fun. I didn't mean to get lost, said Little Monkey, but I got to play with lots of monkeys and they showed me so many things to do. 
Little Monkey's mother frowned. Like what? she asked. They taught me to howl, Little Monkey said, and to swing from branch to branch, and to eat delicious fruit, and to hug like this. Finally, Little Monkey's mother smiled. And from that day forward, Little Monkey was never bored again, and neither was his troop. All right, so that, again, was Little Monkey Lost by Keith Duquette. Duquette. <clears throat> um, and, yeah, I like that book. I thought it was pretty good. So, I'll see you next week. Bye!